How's it going, everyone? Wayne the Unknown here, and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Wayne and Friends. Tonight, we are not going to be playing another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm going to most likely probably save that for November, close to the end of the year. Depends on when I get this one finished. But I am going to be playing South Park and the Stick of Truth. So, yeah, be prepared for some crazy sh stuff. I can't cuss right now because it's not even early later in the video. But anyway... I hope you enjoy this episode of South Park and the Stick of Truth. Welcome to Koopa Keep. Deep in the lands of Zara, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. Go on outside, sweetie. Come on, son. Get out there. Make friends. Uh-uh. Banish thee to the forest realm. 
room. Don't worry, I banished you first. Haha, <laughs> you can't hold out much longer. Help, somebody. I can't hold out much longer. Help! Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. <laughs> my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? Did I Colorado? All hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by a Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King, but the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. You may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told me to stick to the script. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. The power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse, but mostly a curse. The Grand Wizard would hold snacks if we talk off script. Stick to your lines. No talking, Scott. Be careful. The Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. Okay, you're insane now. If you want to be healed, you must gaze at the Rock again. Okay, you're healed. Behold the distant realm of downtown, home of corrupt merchant lords and homeless people. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. As court paladin, my job is to deliver the Wizard King's justice and his mail. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest. But first, please tell us thy entered douchebag. Is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, hey, like or a, a white fighter? Haven't seen a good one of those in a while. We welcome to our kingdom, douchebag the fighter. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Ah, you have procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. what I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Suck it. Dick. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Oh, 
Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bruh. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Die. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your fighter ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Dude, that was pretty lame. Try it again, dude. Ugh. Way to wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. This does double damage. Ah. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, bam, and Cloud was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tip. I think the Grand Wizard wants you to meet him in the war tent. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Thank ah. you! Meanie! Ah. Do it, douchebag! Kick these elves' asses! You're wounded, douchebag. Potions will heal you here. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was compromised. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Eat shit. Uh. Well, if this job doesn't work out, at least you've got a future as a training dummy. Come on, get it right. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground, weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. Kiss my ass. Douchebag! Meanie! Ha! That wasn't very good. Butters! Nice. Butters, you're what losing! Stop! You got this, douchebag! You're mine now! <laughs> 
What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. <laughs> oh, man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink fist. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the Wizard King. Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. That didn't count! Great job, douchebag. Let's do this, douchebag. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Bitch, please. Ah. Hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Win. That's it! Now finish him! Now! Uh, oh! Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I yeah, said! Yeah! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elf! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, if you can make me a douchebag, like you sure can't fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go, and send my warriors here. Fighters, go with him. Are you still here, douchebag? I told you to go find Token, Craig, and Tweak. Chop, chop! I still find it funny how Eric turned uh, Don't touch the Antonio Berenderis blow up doll into an orc. <laughs> Which first appeared in Korn's Groovy Ghost Mystery, one of, the, one of the earlier seasons. Korn also voiced themselves, which I think is actually kind of cool. Well, I hope you hope enjoyed that episode of South Park and the Stick of Truth. Be sure to stay tuned next week for episode two. Let's see, I think. Oh, yeah. Also, real quick, I do want to give a shout out to all those who follow and support the channel. You guys are the best. I just want to mention that. As I always say, the guests make the channel. I just record, edit, and post. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, as always, I'm Wayne the Unknown. Until next time, thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for watching.